Good morning, everyone. It's an absolute pleasure to see you here today for those in Sanctuary and for those online. I greet you. My name is Mrs. Kenika Rust, and I will be opening in prayer. So for those in Sanctuary, can you please stand? And for those online, just continue to stretch out the sleep because we are here to meet God. Amen. Amen. Father, Father, we thank you. Oh, Jesus, we glorify you. Father, we honor your name and we lift you up today. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we give you praise and we give you glory. I pray even now, Almighty God, that as we are gathered, Almighty God, to exalt you, to lift you, to hear from you, Almighty God, to get direction, to get clarity, to draw nigh unto you, God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Almighty God, that you will begin to sa saturate almighty God this atmosphere I pray almighty God that you will begin to saturate the atmosphere of the hearts of your people in sanctuary and online I pray in the name of Jesus Almighty God, that we will encounter and experience, oh God, your power and your presence from heaven. I pray, Almighty God, that we will not be hindered. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, that we, Almighty God, will be in tune, Almighty God, to whatever you want to do, however you want to move. I pray, Almighty God, against distractions. I pray, Almighty God, against warfare. I pray, Almighty God, against territorial demons and devils almighty God I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth almighty God that you will have your way in this place that you will have your way almighty God across the airwaves I pray in the name of Jesus oh God almighty that there will be an eruption today I pray almighty God that we as we bask in your presence as we feast on your word may you be glorified Oh God Almighty, I pray Ratash Kolokotuya, Zebede Bish Katash Kolokoto, Zabada Baskete Gadabasia, Radada Baskutush Kolokotoyo, Zimbede Beshkitish Kalakataya, that we will be hungry for more, that we will not be satisfied with what we got last week. We will not be satisfied with what we got even yesterday. But may our hearts burn. May our Almighty God appetites be opened. Almighty God for more. Ratush Kalaka. Oh God Almighty, we say, come by here. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, that every attack, Almighty God, be nullified. I pray, Almighty God, that we will declare, Almighty God, that whatever we bind on earth, Almighty God, be bound in the heavens. Whatever we loose on earth, be loosed in the heavens. I pray, Almighty God, that your presence, Almighty Almighty God will be unhindered. I pray that your power will not be restricted. I pray in the name of Jesus that every Almighty God demon, Almighty God and witch, Almighty God that wants to stop and block and hinder, oh God Almighty, will be decimated by blood and by fire. I pray in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, that your presence will rest upon us. I pray, Almighty God, that your perfect peace will abide within us. I pray name of Jesus over the preachers. I pray in the name of Jesus over the worshipers. I pray in the name of Jesus over the musicians. I pray in the name of Jesus over the ushers. I pray in the name of Jesus over the media team. I pray almighty God to every soul that will join almighty God in person or online that they will be open for your move. That they will be open for an encounter in the name of Jesus. I pray of the living God will burn Ratashkoya, Zibene Mega the Basaya, Zekala the Damascus Kolokopuya. Almighty God, may we encounter your glory, the weight and heaviness of you. I pray, oh God Almighty, that we will pull on heaven today. Almighty God, and that there will be Almighty God a bursting forth. Zikala the Damaskela the Damasaya in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we stand firm, O oh God, on your word and on your presence. We stand firm, Almighty God, on the authority you've given unto us. We stand firm 
and we will not be moved. Retired every spirit that wants to intimidate back up in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that wants to afflict, we plead the blood of Jesus. Retired I pray for no Almighty God that we will have the mind of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, that we will be guarded by the belt of truth, that we will hold Almighty God the shield of faith, Almighty God, that we will fight with the sword of the Spirit. Almighty God erupt, erupt in this place, oh God, erupt in this place, oh God. Oh, Zukula, Zeba Neba Gadabaya, Zikela Nene Nene Masuya, Ratash Kolokoto, Zeba Neba Gadaba Gadabasaya, begin to shake, begin to shake, oh God, begin to shake away, Zikala Taya, we will not be bound, oh God Almighty, for wherever your spirit is, there is liberty, and we pull on your freedom, we pull on your presence, oh Holy Ghost, Zikala Nene 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 have your way, Zukala, Zekala Basuya Nabase. Begin to clear this atmosphere, even God, even now, God. Clear this atmosphere, Almighty God. I pray that heaven will come now on earth. I pray that heaven will come now on earth. I pray that heaven will come now on earth. I pray that your potent power and your anointing will come upon each and every person. Almighty God, who has a particular function for the kingdom, I pray now, Almighty God, for those online, Almighty God, who are being afflicted, may they count, Almighty God, victory, because you are Jehovah Nisi, and your banner of victory is over your beloved. I pray. In the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, that as we lift our hands and worship, as your word goes forth, I pray, Almighty God, that you will move. I pray, Almighty God, that you will move. For those who are not saved, Almighty God, begin to break up their hearts of clear, Almighty God, and may their hearts be receptive to your word. I pray in the name of Jesus for those who are bound. Almighty God, that you will begin to lose them from fetters in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come, God. Somebody give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh my God, you are here with us and we welcome you. Mighty God, you gave your life for us and we worship you. 
we worship you you did it for us mighty god your eye it wasn't just on this sparrow but you watch us you watch over us and we worship you mighty god uh, mighty god wherever you are if you're online joining us online i invite you to just posture your heart uh, mighty god we are here and the presence of the lord is with us and we're giving glory to the king of kings mighty god we worship you come on just from your lips without a song just give him glory god we give you glory you are god you are god you are high you are lifted up you are god all by yourself you are the creator of the universe of the world they were created by you and the koto you be up to know all things there's nothing that's hidden from you uh, you are a powerful god you are almighty you are god all by yourself we worship you we worship you we worship you and the you are a god of your word you are faithful to your promises uh, you are the god of love we worship you oh god We worship you, Echo Shatana We worship you, oh
focuses on anything but the love of God in this moment. He took it all for you and for me. You've been so good. It's not for us to be in condemnation. It's not for us to feel, oh my gosh, I deserve that. We did deserve it, but he took it all for us so that we can live, so that we can worship, so that we can give him glory freely, so that we don't have to be slaves to sin. You did it all for me, Jesus. You were crucified. You were laid behind the stone. You live to die, rejected.
You've been so good to me God, I can't believe It's not because of anything I have done <laughs> You've been so good You've been so good It's because you are good It's because you are good It's because you are faithful It's because you are faithful it's because you are kind it's because it is in your nature it is your nature because you paid it all for me because you're not counting my sins against me because you almighty god you put it all in the sea of forgetfulness you have been so good that you would see that you reach down into edward peace into a little community wherever you're from exists you've been so good mighty God is good to you mighty God you may be thinking that he's good to other people but he's so good to you his, his ultimate sacrifice was for you his ultimate sacrifice was for you that's reason enough to worship him 
Katusha Tadeku. I call you faithful for the promises you've kept and every need you've met. Lord, I'm so grateful. You've never left my side, Jesus. Every wrong that you've redeemed, and I know you're able, and my eyes don't have to see one more reason to believe. So when I think of how you miss, how your hand is never let me go, you never let me go. What a friend we have in you, Jesus. What a friend we have in you. What a friend we have in you. You know, as I was preparing, you know, what the Lord placed on my heart is that lot of us we hear it that you know when he was on the cross you were on his mind but we don't we don't get it that he did it for us that we have everything we need for life and godliness in him we lack nothing we lack nothing in him the work of the cross it wasn't it wasn't just to cleanse our sins but it was so <laughs> to restore us wholly so anything that you need he has provided it he did it for you whatever you need and so God so as we we're, we're fixing our eyes we're we're thanking him for his goodness to us because we're saying God we believe we believe you have done it you did it on the cross your stripes they were you took the stripes for my sins for my healing for my everything you became poor on the cross so that I can become rich you did everything 
for me. And we just want to thank him. We lack nothing. We lack nothing in him. We lack nothing in him. We lack absolutely nothing in him. So as we sing, thank you, Lord, for the cross. Thank you for the price you paid. We are thanking him that everything we need is in him. Everything we need, he has done. Everything you need in this place right now, you can receive it. He's here. Everything has been provided, but is received through faith. You have to activate your faith. You have to activate your faith. You have to receive. You have to receive. It's not about me. It's not about the worship team up here. It's an audience of one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cross.
you may need just receive it you do miracles so great there is no one else like you anybody in need of strength is there any part of you that's weak whether in your body whether in your soul your emotions are wrecked right now but he do miracles so great he's great he's great
Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him, worship him. Great are you, Lord. Praise and worship team. Raise the song. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Worship him, give him everything, everything, everything. Be praised. Be praised. God is great. standing here this morning can say God is not great he said to Moses that I am that I am what do you want him to be in your life today which situation do you have you want God to prove himself to you he's great he's great over the universe he's great over principalities and powers He's great over your health. He's great over your finances. He's great over your children. He's great over your marriage. He's great over every aspect of your life. He's great. He's great. And he's worthy to be praised. For though, Lord, are worthy, you are worthy to receive glory and honor. For thou hast created all things for thy glory and for thy pleasure they were and are created is great even when you don't feel like it is great hallelujah thank you praise and worship team god bless you hallelujah hallelujah we worship you jesus and you are great and greatly to be praised shout hallelujah in this place shout hallelujah in this place Shout hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Glory. At this time, I invite the woman of God to come and do the notices, to give us the notices and the welcomes. Sister Alima, God bless you, woman of God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and good morning, everyone. Can I hear a hallelujah shout? Can I hear a hallelujah shout? Praise God, praise God, praise God. What a wonderful time feasting in the house of the Lord. I am feeling blessed and I'm feeling excited. Praise God. Can you just reach over to your neighbor and just give them a high five? Give them a smile. Say, it's good to see you this morning. It's good to see you in the house. Praise Jesus. Online, online, I've not forgotten you. I welcome you. I welcome you on behalf of our esteemed leaders, Pastor Dean Smith and the Prophetess Sarah Smith. God bless you for being in the right place at the right time. Are there any first time guests in our midst this morning? Are you here for the very first time in sanctuary? Praise God. Praise God. What about online? Do we have anyone tuning in for the first time? If not, that means online you have a responsibility to share. You, you need to share, you need to like, you need to repost, you need to let the virtual space know that LOTGI is live. Somebody say live. live. Amen, amen, amen. Let me run into the weekly notices very quickly because we want to hear the word. Amen, somebody. Praise God. I believe God is going to release a word in the house this morning. So, on Sundays, we have two services. 
And it's always encouraged that you come to both services. Amen, amen, amen. So at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., we are here in Sanctuary. And you will also find us online. We continue with prayer meetings in the morning. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We are on Zoom at 5 a.m. Amen. We continue in prayer on Monday evenings at 7 p.m. right here in Sanctuary. So we invite you to come on out and be a part of corporate prayer. On Wednesday mornings at 5 a.m., we have Pray Without Ceasing with prophetess sarah smith and if you go on to her youtube pages you can tap into that power bible study is on wednesdays at 8 p.m and that can be seen on our lotgi youtube and facebook pages pastor dean has a word for us so we need to get ready and log in to bible study Additionally, we have Bible school with Pastor Dean Smith on Saturday mornings at 5 a.m. We have been having some interactive class sessions and they are held on Zoom. So if you want to be a part of that, just reach out to one of us and we will link you up. Amen. Counseling sessions are available for both members and non-members. If you desire to be a part of this system i ask that you send a whatsapp to sister marcel blake at 876-478-4864 praise god now this week is going to be a powerful week somebody say powerful powerful we start with power up wednesday this month wednesday march 27th at 7 p.m you need to be in sanctuary amen amen and then after we power up on wednesday we'll be heading into our good friday service miracles signs wonders the power of god is going to be released in this place on the 29th of march at 8 a.m say 8 a.m 8 a.m make sure you're out early and then on sunday at 6 p.m after our divine service in the morning we meet back here for communion service wow 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 it's gonna be a power week touch your neighbor and say power week power week praise the name of jesus now we are in our additional notices and we know what's coming up in the next four days hello women we know what's coming up in the next four days it's the woman on the front line e-course amen somebody this six weeks course is designed for all women all kingdom women if you know god has caused it purpose you need a mentor you need somebody to push you through and so i ask there's time for you to still hello there's still time for you to enroll in this course and so i ask you to send an email to next level institute 2020 at gmail.com or you can call this number 3104547 the classes will begin on tuesday next tuesday at 7 p.m but there's time for all women to jump on this awesome course now we will be having another staging of our women's ministry fundraising cake sale and it's gonna be this sunday march 31st and tickets are available now we had the first staging and some people didn't get their cake but we want you to get your cake and eat it too eh? all right so it's fifteen hundred dollars for this activity it's a fundraiser and it's in aid of our Women Stay Loose conference that's coming up. And I, 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 that's a good segue to go into it. Woman Stay Loose conference 2024. It na normal. Somebody say na normal. It's a line to ascend. A line to ascend. A line to ascend. And when they say, say ascend, you come like you go up. Not true. You go up, right? You go up. In every sense of the word, we'll be going up. I get into it we'll be going up now we're gonna be having the first staging on July 4th to 6th I'm just telling you I'm giving you I'm wetting your appetite on the 4th to the 6th right here in Kingston Jamaica you realize I'm saying Kingston Jamaica right okay and we'll have daily access pass 
for 4,000 Jamaican dollars or 40 US online. Um, that's your th four day access pass. We'll also have daily access pass for you at $1,800 Jamaican and 12 US dollars online. And the venue will be right here. Kingston, Jamaica, L-O-T-G-I. Let's go to the Ascend. For on, the, on July 13th, we'll be going to Florida. Somebody say Florida. Amen, amen. We are taking the plane and we are going up for a line to ascend. You'll be hearing more about this as we press into July. And you know that we're going to have international speakers. Amen, somebody. So we're going to have Prophetess Cecilia Matthews, Pastor Kimola Brown Lowe, and the international Prophetess Sarah Smith. It now normal. Registration is on www.spuropen.com slash Woman Stay Loose, that's WSL 24. You're here in Sanctuary, you're online, you want to be a member of this great nation. I'm inviting you to just reach out to us. The numbers are there, 478-4864. You can't afford not to grow and win in God. I thank you so much for listening this morning. Follow us on all our social media platforms and Tap into what God is doing in this great house. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, woman of God. Stand to your feet, people of God. Hallelujah. At this time, I welcome uh, the man of God, a man of the, a man who is a partaker of the divine nature of the Father who loves the Lord with all his heart. He will bring us to the throne of God's word. No other than uh, Brother Reynaldo Ross. Clap as he comes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a pleasure this morning to bring the Word of God to us. And uh, I must give greetings to the head of this church, the Lord Jesus Christ, and to the shepherds of this house, Pastor Dean Smith and uh, Mama Prophetess Sarah Smith. They have been doing an excellent job in leading this house, this great house. Yeah, yes. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. Can I have some more on my mic, please? I am excited about this word this morning. I'm always excited about God's word. And uh, it is a privilege to really bear the word of God. Amen. Father, before we even go anywhere, Lord, I thank you for your word. By itself, it is blessed. By itself, it is blessed. But we want to be blessed by it. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will bring forth your word with power and with glory. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless your word unto our hearts and glorify your name. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for every situation that we have brought before you in the house this morning, my God. And we are expecting you to do something. We're expecting you to say something. We're expecting, my God, that you will sort through everything and that, God, you will edify us for your glory this morning. Lord God, bring your word alive in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, and may we be aligned to what you have to say in this season. Father, do what only you can do. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and let our lives be a reflection of your glory. Be a reflection of your character. Be a reflection my God of your power in the name of Jesus. Bless your word unto our hearts. So God and glorify your name in Jesus name amen amen before you sit we're going to do just a bit of reading and we're going to go right into the word we're going to be going right into the word after so we're going to be going from verse 29 of Luke chapter 10 
And we're going to end at verse 37. And we're going to go right into the word of the living God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So follow with me as I read. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? And in reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side, but a Samaritan. A who? A who? As he traveled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? I'll stop there. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. Today we are talking about a beautiful passage. And it is something that we would have heard in Sunday school so many times growing up. Right? And we hear it as the parable of the Good Samaritan. Right? Anybody hear that before? The Good Samaritan is the parable of the Good Samaritan. But I want to shift things a bit and call it the parable of the neighbor. The parable of the neighbor. Somebody say the parable of the neighbor. The parable of the neighbor and we are still focusing on Jesus this morning and we're gonna get into the word and see how Jesus is the neighbor my God Almighty Jesus the neighbor somebody say Jesus the neighbor Jesus the neighbor hallelujah 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 so we see that a man was robbed he was stripped and he was left half dead on the road heading my God to Jericho right and uh, he was attacked and robbed and left there and a few persons were passing by this Jewish man this man that was robbed and left half dead men who were passing him one was a Levite and one was a priest and one was a man from Samaria a Samaritan and uh, it is something that we look into over the years and we we, we see the question that Jesus Jesus has said, which of these three persons have been a neighbor to the man that was in the hands of robbers? And of course, the focus was really on the man that helped the one that was attacked. And so often we hear about neighbors and we think about you know miss jane cross the road you know she have a little spice and little black pepper and all of these things that we can borrow and we can lend and we can exchange goods yeah when i am not you know in sufficiency where a seasoning is concerned i can go across the road and say you have that me have this you can exchange right and we help each other in order to cook a good mood my god to cook a good food yeah and so we benefit from each other and we declare always that the neighbor is the person who lives beside me or close to me agreed that's what you hear no so the neighbor is the one that is either across the road behind me on my right or on my left and so 
neighborhood is is classed by uh, the, the proximity of someone to me but but here is a redefinition from the scriptures that allows us to see that the neighbor here is not necessarily the one who is close to me but the one who is willing to sacrificially help me my god almighty jesus has a habit of redefining some things in the scriptures just like he will say you hear my god almighty that you must not commit adultery but i tell you my god you have heard but i tell you my god almighty that those who even lost have committed adultery in their heart it's something jesus does he raises the standard he redefines concepts and he pulls us to a higher standard everybody following me this morning and so we know of neighborhood to be proximity my God Almighty but Jesus his neighborhood is love Lord God Almighty it is the love it is the love I want you to touch your heart this morning and say the love the love the love the love the love the love and so what we see from the scriptures is that if it is that you don't have the love in your heart to do my God what is beyond you and to push and to be sacrificial to those who are in need then my friend you are not truly a neighbor to your brother you are not truly a neighbor to your sister it is the love in your heart but one of the things that we must pay keen attention to you know some persons focus on why the Levite never went across and tended to the man and why the priest never went across and tended to the man and some will say that you know one would be ceremonial ceremonially unclean and so you know they were heading to the temple to perform their duties and if they touched the man they would have to be put aside for some time to become ceremonially clean again right but 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 each and every one of the persons follow me that were crossing on the other side had some reason why they think they could not have gone over to help the man the priest had a reason my God Almighty our God Almighty the priest had a reason the Levite had a reason but the Samaritan even had a reason as well and so though they had a reason my God one chose to put his reason aside and go help somebody who they were unlikely to be seen with my God or be in the company with there was a history between Jews and Samaritans there was a tension there was a friction my god the jews saw the samaritans as half breeds my god meaning that jews would have intermarried with gentiles my god almighty around the time of the babylonian exile lord god and when they came back out of exile after the 70 year period my god and needed to build up back the walls and all of these things that had to be done my god the samaritans wanted to help but them say warm to them half breed people here. my god in jamaica we would have called them mongrel my god almighty them mixed breed lord god you're not pure shih tzu my god you're not pure rottweiler my god you're mixed you're mixed you're mixed men i like that more on pure bread my god the jews never liked them because they intermarried they were half they were half breeds in their eyes and it got so bad that when it was that a Jew needed to pass by Samaria they would go uh, over the Jordan uh, instead of go through Samaria it was a real tension between the two people groups one would say I worship on the mountain and another in the temple my God it was a real friction between the two people and so though we say all right the Samaritan is just another man and he never had an excuse yes he had an excuse because he people were not known to have dealings with Jews they were not known to have dealings with Jews but he sacrificed that my God status quo he sacrificed all of that he passed cultural and social barriers in order to get to the man my God he said I know my people don't associate with your people but for the sake of love but for the sake of helping somebody who is in need I'm going to pass that barrier and I'm gonna do the unlikely thing and do 
do what no other Samaritan would do. I'm going to help someone who is in need. And he tended to his wounds. And he spent some money for him. And he put him on his own donkey. He paid a price and he took care of the unlikely. He took care of the unlikely. He took care of the man nobody would expect him to take care of. He tended to his wounds. He was so meticulous in his help that he utilized two different liquids in order to help the man. He, he utilized wine and he utilized oil. And what is significant about these two things is that wine has an alcohol content in it. And alcohol has the capacity to sanitize the wound. My God Almighty. And oh my God, oil has my God the ability to soothe and to heal. Lord God Almighty and so he was so meticulous about helping this man you can see the love in his heart he never just said all right my god let me help you before one of the samaritan friend them see me i don't care who sees me i'm gonna help this man regardless and i'm gonna give it my all he used his heart he used his hands he used his donkey he used his money he used his resources my god he even destroyed his own reputation with his own people just to get to this man just to help this man what are we doing he went beyond the barriers to help this man my god he sanitized the man's wound with the wine and then he said no 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 i not just want it sanitized but want it for heal my god almighty and he applied oil 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 the bible declares that if you are sick my god call for the elders my god almighty and they will anoint you with oil and pray my god and the prayer my god of faith shall heal the sick Oil is known for its association with healing. He was very intentional about the process. He was not too conscious about his surroundings. And he risked his life. Because one thing that we always miss in the text is that the man was robbed on this road. And so the road would have been known for robbery and theft and, and people with weapons coming to rob you. And so the very fact that the man took the time to go over to the man on this dangerous road, just going to help him, was a risking of his life. My God, he laid down his life to help a man. My God Almighty, don't we see Jesus in this scenario this morning? Don't we see Jesus in this occasion this morning my god almighty that he endangered his own life my god trust to see him my god you and i that were let more than half dead we were already dead in our trespasses and sins but he laid down his life and he sanctified us by the blood he sanitized us by the blood and he applied the healing that comes to the broken body of jesus oh god God Almighty, He was the neighbor. 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 Let me give you a little more insight into this. Samaritans didn't like Jews and Jews didn't like Samaritans. But look on our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Did the people he died for like him? They did not like him. They called for a murderer to be released on the day. My God Almighty send release set free Barabbas a known murderer a man that deserved the cross was set free and an innocent man an innocent man was called to be crucified my God Almighty Lord Jesus we see Jesus he died for his haters 
he died for people who wanted nothing to do with him likewise the Samaritans and the Jews they had a long history of beef I mean not talk on beef brother my God Almighty will leap a beef between them I mean not talk bully beef brother will leap a beef will leap a friction will leap a my God cussing in between when them see each other be a school face I mean I walk on where you're there don't step over my territory I hear somebody there and I dare so you're there no matter cross this border my God it was so bad that my God when Jesus crossed and went through Samaria and spoke to the woman at the well she was so shocked that a Jew was speaking to her my God the expectation is not aligned to their interactions my God it is aligned to their rejection of each other but she defied the expectation to reject and love the man and what we fail to see is that Jesus himself was a Jew he was born from the womb of Mary a Jew and was fathered not only by his heavenly father but my God by Joseph a Jew in all right she was born into the world as a Jew and the Jews never expected Lord God and would never expect my God that a Jew would die not just for a half breed but somebody who don't even mix with Jews at all my God Almighty he died for Gentiles he died for you he died for Kerala he died for Errol he died for Shanika and you are not Jews in any right at all but my God Almighty he defied the odds he went against the status quo and he laid down his life for people who no Jew would ever expect him to interact with he did it for you he is the neighbor he is the neighbor he is the neighbor he sacrificially gave he said I, I, I'm gonna give you some dinero my God some de denari Lord God that was the type of currency that they spent in that time during the Roman Empire my God Almighty and Roman rule they spent that he said I will give you some denari right now and when I come back my God Almighty if there are any expenses I will take care of it he never just dash him away and say well I'm spend a little money by your buy my God him say when I come back to check on the process when I come back to see the state of this man if there are any expenses I will take care of that I will meet the needs of this man all the way all the way all the way I will not turn my back on him when I start I will finish when I move I will go when I go forward I will not look back because this is my mission I will not give up on what I had set out to do whatever I I start whenever I start whatever I start it will be brought to completion in the name of Jesus and what do we see your Lord doing my God Almighty he saw someone that was already dead in their trespasses and sins and said let me pay a price let me pay a price let me pay a price with my own life not with money not with denari my God not with thousand dollar I will pay a price with my own body that was broken with my blood that is shed I will pay the price with my own life to redeem this man to bring him sanctification to bring him redemption to heal his soul from the devils my God my God the devil's work I will do this because this man needs a neighbor this man needs a neighbor this man needs a neighbor he doesn't need somebody who is all about their profession and what they need to do to keep themselves one way and to maintain their reputation he needs somebody who come what may it doesn't matter what my people will say about me even in evangelism when you go out Lord God Almighty or wherever you go we are so conscious about who is watching and which man or woman will give approval for the things we do for the Lord 
God, my God Almighty, our reputation is at stake. As if we associate with someone for their redemption, for their redemption, for their redemption. We're thinking about who, who will look at me after, who will ridicule me after, who will look down on me after. Watch this. If the man was conscious about the Samaritans or what they had to say, he would have limited his interactions. My God, but he was not a man that was respecting what others had to say about him. He was respecting the need of the man that was in danger. My God Almighty, where is our heart? Where is our love? Where is our mind? When people are in need, just because they look poor and you have a little money in your pocket, will you not associate with them? Because your rich friends will look down. My God Almighty, will you not help that man? Will you not extend something that will speak well of you in the heavenly realms? God is asking, who will be like Jesus, the neighbor of neighbors? My God Almighty, he never just gave money. He gave his life. He gave his life. And he said, when I come back, when I come back, I will collect. I will take care. My God Almighty, He has come to prepare a place. My God, if it were not so, my God, He would have not. The man said, Watch me. The man said, I will take care of the needs now, but when I come back, when I come back, if there are any expenses that need to be taken care of I'm gonna foot the bill my God Almighty if a ten thousand dollar it's cleared if a one hundred thousand it's cleared if a one million it's cleared if a one trillion it's cleared because I'm on a business I'm on a mission my meat is to do the will of my father and to finish his work we must work while it is day for the night cometh when no man can work who are you to look down on me when I'm about my father's business who are you to scorn me when I'm doing my father's business I don't care who looks down or who looks up I will look forward until the will is completed and my father is pleased He is the neighbor. 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 You may have some neighbors at your yard, but none, none can save your soul. None can save your soul. As a matter of fact, some in the community, a village liar, they're just cheering down your name. Who well, know everybody business. But when Jesus knows your business, it is a knowing for redemption. It is a knowing for restoration. It is a knowing to pull you out of sin and its penalty, which is death. Lord God Almighty, he is your neighbor this morning. And he said, neighbor I looked across and I saw that you never had salvation my God your soul was mucky my God almighty things are right in the realm of your mind I want to set my God I want to set some things straight and I see that things are wrong let me be your neighbor this morning let me be the savior this morning let me wash you clean this morning let me sanitize your soul this morning let me put oil on you this morning until you are healed, until you're restored, until you're set free, until your family is turned, until your community is turned, until this nation is turned, let me be your neighbor. We're talking about Jesus, the neighbor. We're talking about Jesus, the neighbor. He defied the odds and went against
the expected relational rejections and he went and helped a man he was not expected to help my god almighty we know that the jews is first the salvation is first to the jews but guess what it's also to the gentiles romans 1 and verse 6 i am not ashamed my god of the gospel for it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone who believes my god if god my god through jesus christ would have been looking on what the Jews would have said about him would he have gone on the cross would you now be saved would Paul have the gospel unto the Gentiles to be an apostle to the Gentiles would all of the apostles and the disciples have a word to give if Jesus was conscious about what his naysayers had to say my God almighty some of us we need a better focus on who he is as our neighbor and become neighbors to our siblings neighbors to our friends neighbors to those who are walking in half a tree and don't know the Savior what are you doing in this time he is calling for you to do what you are not expected to do but what you have been called to do he defied those relational barriers he paid a price he paid a price an expensive price salvation is free for you but it's expensive for Jesus it cost him his life but it costs you nothing my God Almighty it's expensive for Christ but it is free for you you think it's free all around you think he just take it out of the sky and put it on your forehead no he laid down his life his forehead was dripping blood a spear was in his side nailing his feet nailing his hands he did what you would not be willing to do even for a righteous man you would not die but Jesus laid on his life for sinners to be saved and to be healed he's a neighbor that you can never be without him he's a neighbor that you can never be without him He doesn't just stop at locating the wounds he dresses them oh god almighty he dresses them some of you you have some wounds my god almighty you have some wounds, you have some soulish wounds. Somebody hurt you in the past. My God, somebody step on your soul and try to crush it out. My God, they try to leave you half dead. But Jesus is a neighbor this morning. Jesus is a neighbor this morning. And he said, I have come to preach liberty to the captives, those who are bound to bind up the broken heart. My God Almighty, to set at liberty those who are bound. He is a neighbor this morning even the prophecy of Isaiah that he fulfills that day my God Almighty is a reflection of his neighborhood my God Almighty he wants to be a neighbor this morning he wants to let you know that a price has been paid and he will come back for you when it is time but he's taking care of your needs right now right now right now right now my God Almighty he may not have black paper my God, or red pepper, or scotch body pepper to lend. But my God, he is not lending you his life. He gave it. My God Almighty, he's not expecting his life back. My God, he's expecting you to respond. He's expecting a response. He's my God Almighty. He's, res he's expecting a response this morning. My God Almighty. My God, you may not be a Jew or a Samaritan, but remember, 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 remember. The Jews were the ones that God had relationship with from the time of Abraham all the way down. My God, to the time of Jesus, and it was for them and for them alone. But my God, she 
Jesus broke down the wall a partition through his sacrifice so that those who nobody expects my God the dead dogs got salvation my God Almighty Lord God when the woman wanted bread from the table my God how can I give bread my God to the dogs Lord God just say ah even if I just a crumbs when dropped from the table give me give me give me give me I will take it my God Gentiles were considered as dogs but dogs have been saved dogs have been saved dogs have been saved dogs have been saved because a neighbor came and never left you by the wayside never left you never left you never judged you because of how you looked on the road and so many persons when you talk to them about coming to Christ the first thing they say is I have to fix up myself first before I come there's some things I need to sort out before I come there's some struggles I need to handle before I come my God there's some nasty things about my life that I have to fix up before I come to Jesus my God the Samaritan went across to a man that was naked he never had a garment on him because it was stripped. He never judged him, my God Almighty. Not only was he a Jew, but he was naked and half dead. But he helped him. And what some of us fail to understand is that sin caused man to be naked. When sin entered, Adam and Eve realized that they were naked and they were ashamed. This man in the parable, he was robbed, he was stripped. My good God of grace, he was stripped naked and left half dead and what you don't realize is that 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 is exactly what sin has done to you it has left you naked and dead my God Almighty but Jesus wants to be the neighbor that brings life back into the deadness and resurrects all that people wanted to remain dead Lord God Almighty Jesus has brought life and life eternally through what was established on the cross he is the good neighbor he is the good neighbor he is the good neighbor whilst I can't call him a Samaritan I can call him a neighbor I can call him my neighbor I don't know if you have made him your neighbor but he is my neighbor he is Matthew's neighbor he is Shanique's neighbor he is Nicole's neighbor he is Carol's neighbor he is Marisol's neighbor Minister McDuffel's neighbor Gigi's neighbor my God Almighty he is our neighbor because we have put our faith in his finished work and put our trust in the sanctifying and healing blood of Jesus Christ. Whether you are unsaved or you are wounded, he's here. Whether you are unsaved or you are wounded, he is here. He is your neighbor this morning. He is your neighbor this morning. He is your neighbor this morning. He is your neighbor. 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 I want everybody to stand this morning. gonna pray we're gonna pray we're gonna pray if there is an area of brokenness in your soul if there is a wound that you are struggling with there is wine and oil in the presence of God there is wine and oil in the presence of God 
there is a sanitizing and a healing power in the presence of God he is able to be your neighbor this morning he is able to tend to your wounds this morning if it's expensive he'll deal with it my God if nobody else wants to do it because their reputation is on the line trust me Jesus risk everything including his reputation amongst the Jews just to save us he is able to deal with your wounds he is able to deal with everything you have been struggling with in this season do it my God Almighty do it in their souls Lord do it in their souls Lord if there's weeping every night my God I'm mourning every morning Lord God deal with it Jesus and let there be attending to their wounds oh God Lord God heal them bind up the broken hearts my God set a liberty those who are born this morning declare the acceptable year of the Lord oh God and let their lives be drawn unto you Jesus oh great neighbor of the church God do what only you can do my God the priest wasn't willing my God the Levite wasn't willing but a Samaritan a man that was not expected he went across the social and cultural barriers to get to a man that may even not have liked him my God he loved his enemy and that's why the man was saved Jesus sinned positioned us as enemies before you but God you loved your enemies and that's why we are saved this morning my God heal a wound God heal a soul God save a heart God in the name of Jesus and may your hand your hand of healing your hand of provision your hand of restoration come upon this man in the name of Jesus you have only what is best for us my God Lord of the man pain and innkeeper to take him off of the streets and to take care of him he took him on his donkey and rode him to a better place God bring us to a better place in you in the name of Jesus sanctify 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 your souls cleanse our souls heal our souls heal our mind in the name of Jesus come on call out for the neighbor call out for your neighbor call out for your neighbor raise your voice in this holy ghost sanctuary and call for the neighbor that has come to help you in your distress come on church pray 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 my god tell jesus come across the street to me my god almighty clothe me tend to me heal me sanctify me make me whole oh god i need a neighbor in this moment to move upon my life oh neighbor of the church oh neighbor of my life come and visit us come and tend to us come and heal us come and minister to us in the name of Jesus move upon our souls oh God come on pray 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 the neighbor is near the neighbor is near the neighbor is near to the broken hearted and to those with a contrite heart let the neighbor do what the neighbor does let the neighbor do what the neighbor does the neighbor is not the one who will stand by the wayside and pass you to protect his reputation it is the one that at all costs I must save him at all costs I must tend to him at all 
costs, at all costs, at all costs, at all costs, no matter what it takes, I will sacrifice all to get to this man. My God, there's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming up to me, there's no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming up to me, no matter what comes my way, no matter what cultural barrier has come to set me aside, I will press until this man's wounds, my God Almighty, are tending to and are healed. Come on church, pray. You have some wounds, you have some scars, you have some things that you're struggling with. But the neighbor is right beside you. The neighbor, 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 the neighbor. The neighbor. He wants to not just be beside you, but to dwell in your soul, to dwell, my God, inside of you, to dwell in your heart and bring continued deliverance to your life. My God, the neighbor is right here in this house. Pray, 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 pray. Come on, raise the temperature in this house. The neighbor is right here at 137 Maxfield Avenue. The neighbor is here to help. He is here to help. He is here to help. Your soul is in danger, but the helper is here. The neighbor is here, and he said, let me in. I stand at the door, and I knock, I knock, I knock. If you hear my voice, and open, I will come in and stop with you. Lord of mercy, the neighbor is in the house. hear you I can't hear you do you have a need or not do you have a need or not do you have a wound or not do you have something struggling with or not is the neighbor not here my God Jesus is right here right here right here right now and he's saying open up open up open up open up and let me help you Your help, 
Jesus, you are the neighbor. Help us, God. We need your help in this season, Lord. Help us, God. Resurrected Savior. and you're struggling to make a commitment to the Lord this morning is your opportunity let the neighbor help you let the neighbor help you if you don't know Jesus I'm going to invite you to come right here so you can meet the neighbor let him help you let him help you don't be distracted don't be too conscious about who is watching and who will watch when you tell them the decision you make today. My God Almighty, the neighbor is here. He laid down his life for you and he wants to dress your wounds. He wants to pour oil and wine in your wound. My God, and restore your soul. My God Almighty, if you don't know the neighbor, come and meet the neighbor right here at the altar. My God Almighty, he laid down everything and he said he is going to prepare a place for you. My God Almighty, whatever expenses, Lord God is here to be covered. My God, let Him cover it for you. Lord God, He paid a price for your soul. My God Almighty, if you don't know Him personally, come right now, right now, right now, right now, and let Him help your soul. Let Him help you. Come. 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 Jesus. Come on, somebody give the Lord a round of applause. Come. If there's another one, if you know you're not where you're supposed to be with God, come face me, face me. Yeah, man. And you need to surrender your life to Him, to the great neighbor of the church, to the head of the church, the one that is able to tend to your wounds and to save your soul. Come. 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 If there's one more. If there's two more. Let Jesus be your neighbor this morning. Let Jesus be your neighbor this morning. Let Jesus be your neighbor this morning. He may not be Mass Joyce. My God, Miss Joyce, right beside you in your neighborhood, but he is near to your soul right now. Right now, right now, right now, and he wants to live in it. He doesn't just want to live beside you, he wants to live inside of you. My God Almighty, and sup with you, and fellowship with you, and save your soul, and restore your heart. Come right now. This is the acceptable time of salvation. Let him heal you. Let him sanitize your wound. Let him save your soul. Hallelujah. 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 I want 
everybody just to stretch your hands towards Byron. Stretch your hands towards Byron. Father, I just want to thank you for Byron's life. Every struggle that he's had to make commitments to you. I pray in the name of Jesus that the struggle will be lifted. That every demonic influence over his mind that wants him to remain blind to the light of the gospel. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will remove the scales from his eyes. I pray Lord God that you, my God, will move upon his mind. And I pray God that you won't, my God, stay away from the only thing that can save his soul. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will be a neighbor for Byron this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever I fear he has, whatever has wounded him, whatever wants him to remain dead in his sins and trespasses I pray in the name of Jesus that you will redeem his soul my God dress him again my God tend to his wounds my God, my God pull him and put him in a better place take care of his needs oh God until you come again I pray that you will strengthen him as he makes this step forward I pray God that you will walk alongside him in the name of Jesus and move upon his heart and let him know you as the good neighbor, the good neighbor, the good neighbor, the good neighbor, the good neighbor. Let every person around him, regardless of what they expected of him, my God, let them know that he has chosen a better path in the name of Jesus and that the neighbor lives inside of him. The neighbor lives inside of him in the name of Jesus move upon his mind in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah just repeat after me Lord pray with me Lord I thank you for what you have done on the cross for me I pray and confess that Jesus Christ you are the neighbor to my, my, to my soul. I pray and confess that you are Lord and that you are Lord over my life. I believe in my heart that God raised you, Jesus, from the grave. I confess that though I am a sinner, you can cleanse my soul. You can cleanse my life and save my soul come into my heart oh god come into my life oh god change my life around for your sake make me whole oh god and preserve my life in jesus mighty name amen 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 congratulations sir congratulations sir. i'm gonna ask you just to give your name to sister waynette johnson she will take your information and we will follow up with you. Hallelujah. Can you just give the Lord a praise? Can you just give the Lord a praise? Come on, after two, I want you to say thank you, neighbor. One, two. One, two. One, two. He's the neighbor of your souls this morning. Hallelujah. You were ever mistaken about who's your neighbor think again hallelujah hallelujah he's better than mass joe beside the yard amen 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 better than black pepper and peas hello glory to god glory to god at this time i'm gonna ask um you to get your offering and tithes ready we're about to give right um so i'm asking the ushers to get ready to collect the offering at this time going to ask everybody to just get yourselves ready, 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 ready. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. If you have your tithes and your offering, can you just stand and follow the leading of the ushers? If you need an envelope, one will be given unto you. Just raise your hands and they will give it to you. The card machine is at the back, so if you so desire.
had to use their card. A card machine is at the back. The wonderful lady in the orange will be doing that for you. God bless you. Can you just stand to your feet and just come as we give our tithes and our offering? If there's a seed that you need to throw, this is an opportunity to do so. Those online, the information is pinned and you can go right ahead and give. my God that you are faithful and that you have given unto your people and they have given back to you a portion. I pray in the name of Jesus that as they give my God the blessings that comes with giving will be upon them. I pray in the name of Jesus as it is written that you will rebuke the devourer for their sake. Whatever my God wants to devour the, the finances of your people, the blessings of your people, the promises over their lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that your word my God and might will take root and begin to operate in these areas. I pray this morning that you will give unto them, my God, a press down, a shaking together and running over blessing. I pray that testimonies will come from their bowels. I pray in the name of Jesus according to your word that our nation shall call them blessed. My God, is it not written that they shall not lack any good thing this morning? I pray in the name of Jesus that lack and scarcity will be far from them this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus my God, that the abundance of rain will fall down upon their giving. I pray that it will flourish almighty God. I pray in the name of Jesus that the evidence my God, that your hand is upon them. My God almighty will be made manifested. Oh Father God bless your people this morning and do what no man can do. My God transform and change. My God what the enemy have in store and let the perfect will of God concerning your people manifest today. Father, we give you praise, glory and honor in Jesus name amen come on put your hands together for the Lord this morning we will be entering into our second segment if you don't have to go I encourage you to stay and be blessed with what God is about to do in our 10 a.m. service thank you so much God bless you we lift your hands for the blessing may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you may he lift us in countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus name amen and amen Amen. 